All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Mashiach Arazaka from the tribe of Gad, coming through the spirit. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as, um, Don't be ashamed to repent. All right. Don't be ashamed to repent. All right. And, um, you know, that's one thing that I always tell myself first and foremost or to any brother out there, man, don't be ashamed to repent. Because that's something that you are to be doing as an Israelite, to be repenting daily, man. Even if you feel like you didn't do any iniquities, you still want to repent. Because you don't know what you've done that could be an iniquity in the sight of the Lord. You don't know. So, you know, that's one thing that, um, you know, the brothers, the elders and brothers always say is to uh, repent, man. You know, don't be ashamed to repent. It's a good thing. All right. This is, uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is um, Acts 3 and 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. And that word converted, it means to return, come back. All right? It says that your sins may be blotted out. Right? Because when you repent, your sins are blotted out. All right? You want to be repenting. All right? You want to be repenting daily. You want to be repenting to the Lord. You know? These are the things that you are to be doing as an Israelite. It says, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right? So you want to be repenting daily, man. You want to be asking the Lord for mercy. You want to be repenting daily. All right? This is a 24-hour thing. Not once a week. Not once every other three, four days. Not once a month. Not once a year. This is an everyday thing. This is a 24-hour thing. You want to be repenting daily. All right? You want to fear the Lord, too. And if you're a Jake that has not been repenting daily... Well, you need to start doing it now, you know, st starting from myself first and foremost, you know, because this ain't just to you brothers, you know, it's to myself as well. You want to be repenting daily. You want to be repenting daily, man. All right. If you're not repenting daily, well, you better start doing it now. All right. It's the second Chronicles seven and um, verse 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Right? Because the Lord deals with the humble. He don't deal with the proud. Scriptures say uh, pride bringeth shame. All right? So you, you don't you don't want to be prideful. The scriptures say in Proverbs 16, 18, that pride go up before destruction. So you don't want to be a Jake that's prideful. All right? You want to be, you want to be, uh, it's a lot here. There we go. You want to be uh, humble in this thing, man. All right? You want to fear the Lord. You want to be humble in this thing. All right, you want to be enduring in this thing? It says, and pray and seek my face. It says, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and, and will hear, heal their land. All right, this is how the Lord is working in us, man. All right, the Lord has forgiven us of our sins. He's blotting out our transgressions, man. And the Lord has forgiven us. So, you know, right now we're in a temporary grace period. So you as an Israelite, you to be repentant, man. Because the doors of mercy are closing, you know. The doors of mercy are closing. So you want to be repenting daily. You want to be examining yourself. All right. You want to be building up in this truth. You know, you as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Spank, Native American Indian, you are to be rehearsing these things every day. You know, it's an everyday thing. This is uh, 1 John uh, 1 and 9. This is 1 John 1 and 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Right. So don't be ashamed to repent. Don't be ashamed to repent. Don't be afraid to repent. Repent. All right. Repent to the Lord, man. That pleases the Lord because that shows the Lord that you're trying to be obedient. You're being obedient to him. When you repent, you know, the Lord knows that we're going to go off in his flesh. You know, the Lord knows we go off, man. You're going to go off in his flesh. All right. All of us go off in the flesh, but the main thing is to repent, all right? 
and keep keep it pushing, man. You know, don't don't let it. Another thing, don't let it. Um, you know, when you commit an iniquity, don't let it go to your mind and you start bugging yourself out. Like, oh, the Lord ain't dealing with me now because I committed this sin. I committed this iniquity. Hey, you're in the flesh, so you want to repent. You want to repent to the Lord, and you want to ask the Lord for mercy, man. You know, you want to repent to the Lord, and you want to ask the Lord for mercy, man. You know, I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. Don't let your mind bug you out, and you start having thoughts where, oh, now I sin. Now the Lord ain't dealing with me. I don't feel like the Lord's dealing with me, man. I know better. Hey, you're going to fall off in the flesh. Now, I'm not saying it's okay to do as thou wilt, but I'm saying you're going to fall off. I'm not saying go out and willingly sin. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're going to go off in the flesh. You're going to sin. But don't willingly sin, though. All right? This, that's a big difference. All right? This is 1 John uh, 1 and 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. See? That's how the Lord is. We, he's a, he's, he has compassion upon his children, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, has compassion upon us, man. He has mercy upon us, man. All right? The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, he loves us, man. So he's going to forgive us, man. You just got to persuade yourself and know that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, is going to forgive you, man. All right? Don't go bugging yourself out, telling yourself, oh, the Lord ain't dealing with me now, and... It's this and that, because you will wind up falling out of the truth, and you don't want that. All right, don't be afraid to repent. This is Second Peter three and nine. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, because you got men that that count slackness in this truth. All right, they come into this thing, they learn it, and then through time they just stop doing lessons, they stop going out, they just, you know, stop doing lessons, you know, and they push it off for a month, two, three months, you know. Don't be slack in this. Don't be slackness in this truth, man. You know, let's read from the top. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. So you want to repent. You want to repent to Yahweh Bashimashai. All right. You're bounding your relationship with the Lord, man. You ask the Lord for mercy. You ask the Lord for forgiveness, man, of your of your sins. All right, that's your boundaries of your relationship with your how about me on shy, man. You individually, all right. No one can save you. No one can save you. Not even me. Not even the elders. Uh, Apostles of Grieve no so No brother out there can save you. You gotta, you gotta repent to the Lord, man. You gotta ask the Lord for mercy. That's between you and your relationship with the Most High. Brothers can pray for you, absolutely. But you gotta do the praying yourself. All right, pray to your how about you, shy. Don't let nothing stop you from glorifying the Lord, man. Don't let nothing stop you from glorifying Yahweh by Shema Shai. Repent. Don't be ashamed to repent. Yahweh Shai wasn't ashamed of us. So why should you be ashamed to repent to the Lord, man? All right? Repent. You know? Repent. If you go off, repent. You know? This is uh, Luke uh, 13 and 3. Let me get that right now. Uh, this is Luke chapter 13. And uh, verse 3. And this is what Yehoshai said. It says, I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Repent. Yehoshai even said it. Repent, man. You want to repent. Alright, because if you fear the Lord, you're going to repent to Yehoshai Shemashai. Repent, man. Repent to Yehoshai Shemashai, man. Ask the Lord for mercy. Repent. You know, and keep it pushing, man. Acts 17 and 30. We'll get that out. So, hey, man, you as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Spanish, Native American, Indian man, repent, man. All right. This is Acts 17 and 30. It says, In the times of this ignorance, Yahweh winked at, but now cometh all men everywhere to repent. See? All, all Israelite men everywhere to repent. This is the times that we're coming into, man. We're coming into... We're in the last days. We've been in the last days since Yahweh came on the scene, man. All right? We've been in the last days. So you as an Israelite individually, you need to be building yourself up. You need to be praying, repenting, fasting. Ask the Lord for mercy, man. Ask the Lord to increase you in, in areas that you... Ask the Lord to strengthen you, Salakia. In areas that you know that you're weak in, in the spirit. You know? 
Ask the Lord to increase you in those, strengthen you in those things. Ask the Lord to increase you in the faith, increase you in the in the wisdom of this truth, of this gospel, man. These are things I pray for. I pray for brothers out there that's dealing with all these different attacks, brothers that's going to infirmities, man. All right. So you, man, one of the main things that you should be doing is is asking the Lord for mercy and repenting, man. You know. Read that again, Acts seventeen and thirty. It says, And the times of this ignorance, how will wink that? But now cometh all men everywhere to repent. So you want to repent. All right? You want to repent to Yahweh Bashima Shah. Don't be ashamed to repent. Don't be ashamed to repent. Proverbs 28. Proverbs. Uh, don't be afraid to repent, man. You know? Just had to do it because I don't know the Lord just... With the spirit on me to do that, you know, because some brothers is, you know, going through certain things, man. This is Proverbs uh, 28 and 13. It says, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. Because you got Jake's out there that think that, you know, they can cover their sins. They don't have to pray to the Lord. They can just keep it to themselves. But no, the Lord knows everything that you've done in your life. All right. The Lord knows the sins that you're going to commit in the future before you commit them. All right, just probably paraphrasing. So you can't you can't hide, you can't cover up your iniquities. All right, don't think that the Lord doesn't know the things that you've done because He's watching you. He sees everything that you do. He even knows that you. He even knows when you're gonna sin. He knows the time, the date. He knows when you're gonna sin. The day, the time, the moment. He knows before you even know it. So why wouldn't you repent? You know, repent. The Lord knows what you're gonna do before you even do it. So you can't cover up your iniquities, man. And that's what the scripture is, Proverbs 28, 13. It says, he that, cover up, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. Because you can't hide your iniquities from the Most High, man. It's not happening. It says, but whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. The Lord's going to have mercy on those that, that, that pray to him, man. That ask him for mercy, that repent, you know, for the things that they've done. Even, the Lord know, even though the Lord do know it, you know, the Lord is going to have mercy on you because he, you you, he knows that you fear him, man. He knows that you're trying, man. All right, but if you reject that, just sinning, and then you just covering up your iniquities, you, you're gonna perish, because the Lord knows what you're gonna do before you even do it. So there's no need of trying to cover that up, man. There's no need in trying to cover up your your iniquities. So that's just crazy. You know, you can't hide your sin from the most. You can't hide your iniquities from the Most High, man. Lord knows it before you even do it. He knows what you're gonna do before you even do it. Before you even commit that sin, you already know that you committed it, man. The main thing is repenting and and and, and ask the Lord for mercy and thanking Him for keeping you alive, because He knew He knew He knew that you're going to commit that iniquity. All right. That's what is. That's what makes our power our, our power so. Man, He's He's omnipotent, man. You know. This is uh, Romans two and one. It says, "I read from the top." I actually was supposed to read to verse four, but. I want to get, you know, start from the top. This is Romans 2 and 1. It says, Therefore thou art thou art inexcusable, O men. It says, Whosoever thou art thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same things. Verse 2. But we are such that the judgment of the Most High is according to truth against them which commit such things. Your iniquities. All right. Verse 3, it says, And things thou this, O men, that judgest them which do such things, and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of the Most High. Which you can't. You can't escape the judgment of the Most High doing the, the wickedness that you're doing. The scriptures say in uh, Romans 6 and 23, For the wages of sin is death. So you can't, you can't escape that. That's why you want to repent. Because judgment is of the hand of the Lord. You can't es escape that. Let me get that out. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord. Alright? That's why you want to repent. This is Deuteronomy 30. Alright? Because the Lord says that in Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 39. It's Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, So now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hands. So you're right. You can't, you can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. That's why you want to repent, all right? You can't escape the judgment of Yahweh Shemashai. 
Scriptures say Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. So you can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. That's why you want to fear the Lord, all right? You want to fear him. You want to fear the Lord, all right? You want to fear the Lord, and you want to do as what the Lord commands you as an Israelite, all right? You want to repent. You want to ask him for mercy. You want to fear him. You want to keep, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts, which is keeping law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. Those are the things you want to do. You can't escape the judgment of the Lord, man. This is Romans 2 and 3. It says, And thinkest thou this, O men, that judgest them which do such things, and doest the same, doest the same that thou shalt escape the judgment of the Most High. It says, Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and long suffering? It says, Not knowing that the goodness of Yahweh leadeth thee to repentance. Because that's why you want to repent. All right. Verse five, it says, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart. And that word impenitent means no regrets or no shame. Two thirds of the mindset of our people, they feel comfortable in vain wickedness. They're not ashamed of doing wicked. They, you got some of them that don't even believe in the most high. So they don't, they feel that they don't even need to repent. They could just do as thou will. But if you are Jake with that type of spirit, if you are Jake with that type of spirit, you're going to be destroyed. All right, if you a Jake that that don't repent to the Lord, that don't fear the Lord, that don't believe in the Most High, you're gonna feel His judgment. He gonna he gonna he gonna put you to death, man. Cause that's how our power is, man. So you Jakes that's doing wickedness, and right now everything is going good. It's gonna go bad in the end. It's gonna go sour in the end. All right, for you, it's gonna go sour in the end. This is Romans two and five. It says, "By after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasures up thyself." Wrath against the day of the wrath and revelation of the judgment of the Most High. Verse 6, it says, Who will render every man according to his deeds? See, you are rendered according to your deeds, man. You are counted responsible for what you do. That's why you want to repent. All right? And that's why King David asked the Lord for mercy. All right? This is uh, Matthew 3 and 2. This is Matthew chapter 3. And uh, verse 2. This is Matthew 3 and 2. Salakia. It says, And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you want to repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Each and every one of us individually are holding on to our own crown, and we're going, in. yeah, there's a physical war, there's a physical war going on, but it's a spiritual battle between ourselves individually with our flesh. All right? That's that spiritual battle. You know, we, we're going through infirmities, we're going through afflictions, we're going through all these torments, you know, but hey, it's a, it's a battle, man, and we're, 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 we're battling against ourselves, man, you know, it's a, it's a spiritual battle out here, man, and that's why you got to be repentant, man, you got to be examining yourself, repenting, building yourself up, man, all right, Matthew 3 and 2, it says, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So each and every one of us individually, we're fighting to hold on to our crowns. We're not trying to let them go, man. You know, we're trying to hold on as tight as we can. And I mean, it did with this. This is the last precept. This is King David. This is Psalms 51 and 1. Have mercy upon me, O power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. See, King David asked the Lord for mercy, and he asked the Lord to blot out his transgressions, man. All right, and that's how we have to be. We have to ask the Lord for mercy, and we have to ask when we have to repent. We have to ask the Lord to blot out our transgressions, man. We want to repent. At all, this is all repenting. Verse two, it says, "Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin." See, King David asked the Lord for mercy, and then he repented. He asked the Lord to blot out his transgressions. He feared the Lord. Verse three, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. See, so right, you want to repent to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You want to be asking the Lord for mercy. You want to repent to the Lord, man. You want to ask the Lord to strengthen you, keep you enduring, keeping you in the right spirit, man. Keep you humble, diligent, and sincere. All right. So you you want to you want to uh, ask the Lord to build you up in these things, man. So hey, man, I'm in it there with that. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shemi Hashem, Baha Shem and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the lake. And shalom to you, sincere brothers, scattered abroad, push forth this word of truth, sincerity. I am Mashiach Arazaka, Bangad, Yasha Allah, coming through the Spirit. 
And our Lord wants us. That's what's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.